John 10 and 27, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Right. So the sheep know his voice, meaning we know his spirit. When the spirit coming to us, we don't know it's his spirit, we don't know it's him. But it's verse 27. I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Right. So he said eternal life. And you can't pluck him out. If he a part of the elect, he's not going to be deceived. You can't deceive him. You can't deceive him. Uh, this is 29. My father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. That's right. Right. I Meaning they always going always gonna to come back to their lot. No matter what, just like uh, Daniel, how he told Daniel, he was, at the end he was going to stand in this lot. You always going to come back to your lot. Can't nobody remove you from what the most high set up. Just like Moses when he went to Egypt. This is uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 9, verse 7. Happy are thy men, and happy are these, serv these thy servants, which stand continually before thee, and hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, Jehovah, which delighted in thee to set thee on his throne, to be the king for the Lord, Jehovah thy God, because thy God loved Israel to establish them forever. Therefore may he be, be king over them to do judgment and justice. But I was reading that to basically read this. Second Chronicles chapter 10, verse 19, that Israel rebelled against the house of David until this day, which is basically, the, once again, the state that we live in and why we shouldn't be in the house of birth, but basically in the house of mourning and, and trying to redeem our people back to this truth, to this knowledge uh, of the scriptures, uh, the true nationality that was stripped from them because they because we belong as a, as a nation of people and the Lord ain't going to punish you individually, which he can, but he's going to punish us as a whole. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yea, that make mention of the Lord keep not silent, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. <laughs> Basically, he said, give him no rest till he made Jerusalem a, a praise in earth. So, I mean, that could go a long way. That could go speaking about the heathens, give them no rest. You know, I'm talking about beating their ass continually. But that's that's something to come for the kingdom. Like, I ain't going to worry about that now right now. I'm trying to get that shit. But that could kind of switch the topic a bit. Because I don't got to come from that. No, no, yeah, yeah, just yeah, no. in general, yeah. give them no rest until they make Jerusalem a praise in earth. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what we out here to do. We out here to... Keep not silent, you know. Uh, we out here to. We out here to blow the trumpet. We out blow the trumpet. I know sometimes, you know, we might not be in the best of place, but shit, man, we out here. You know, we still out here as a banner. You know, we still out here representing. You know, we still out here uh, promoting that Yahweh Bashir Yahushai is coming to to uplift the nation of Yahshua and to downfall this place called America, man. Come. <laughs> no, but on some real shit though, like you know, you know, y'all, whatever, you know, you got it. Huh? Okay, I'm just like, right, hold on, um, my part, I ain't mean to cut you off, but Joel chapter one verse six: For a nation has come up upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he that has cheek teeth of a great lion. He hath laid my vine waste and bark my fig tree. He hath made it clean and bare and cast it away. The branches thereof are made white. The mint like a burden girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth. The meat offering and drink offering is cut off from the house of the Lord. The priest of the Lord ministers ministers more. Let's jump down to verse 13. Gird yourselves and lament, you priests, how you ministers of the altar. Come 
lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God, Jehovah, for the meat offering and drink offering is with, withholding from the house of your God. Sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of Yahshua, your God, and cry unto the Lord. Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. It is not the meat cut off from before your eyes, ye joy and gladness from the house of our, our God. So basically saying that's what we out here doing from the elders on down. We out here once again in sackcloth. And, um, and so basically sum it all up, we blowing the trumpet, you know, get, getting them ready for what's to come. And it said that he was a um he said it lasts for the day that the Lord is at hand and the destruction of the Almighty shall it come. So basically saying it ain't no cupcakes and, and, and hugs and daps and shit coming from who y'all ignorant of Jesus Christ. It's a lot of death and destruction and that's why we out here once again trying to gather fruit, bring them back. As, he, as the scripture said, basically into the congregation, we're trying to reach out and, and wake up on people and bring them back to the nationality of the scripture. Revelations 19 and 10 and I fell at his feet to worship him and he said unto me see thou do it not I am a fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai worship Yahweh but the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy you know and I read that and said like, like brother was saying like you ain't supposed to come out here you know and yell and scream and, and you know, uh, I guess, scare people away, but the elect is gonna hear it no matter how you talk. You know, I can come out here and yell at the top of my lungs, you a member of the elect, you gonna vibe with it. Like, me and the brother was talking, like, I came in listening to the LA camp, that shit scared the shit out of me. But I didn't, I didn't stop watching, because, them, you know, brothers just talking too harsh. You know, so, if you meant to be offended in this thing, that's just your lot. But, you know, if you coming in and you supposed to be here, you gonna be here no matter what it said. You know? No matter if everything is being said is directed at you, you know, or you just gonna have to come to grips with it and realize that's what it is. Right. I was teaching a brother, and uh, this brother was teaching another, another dude. Uh, uh, he was like, man, he was like, he was like, he was like, I don't want you to read. I don't want you to read. This sounded like you told me to read. Like, <laughs> like dude, he, he ain't want, he ain't want that correction. He ain't want nobody to be directed at him. He wanted to hear it, but he ain't want correction. Now 
is sitting solitary because our people are not in the in, in the land. But not only that, this place would be desolate. Speaking on Babylon, this place would be desolate. And it said further on that Judah has gone into captivity because of their own wicked dealings, their own afflictions. And then it speaks on later on about how we do born because of the, the, we bat the bottom of the totem pole, man. We've been stripped of our nationality. We don't know who we are. I mean, and if you don't see it more than physically, I look at it like it, it, and it, you got it's a spiritual thing, being in this truth. If you're looking at your people and they got like say blind hair, they wearing a Roman cross, all that wicked shit, man. Yeah. Like you, you can see that they spiritually dead, man. So that's like in my eyes, I look at them like they mourn and they crying out for help because they don't know they think they don't know who they are. They they they, they think that they go back to Africa and the Egyptians are not your people. So it, it's a spiritual thing. It's not just physically crying because they can't get certain substance. It's also a spiritual thing because they lost man. Our people out here wearing skinny jeans and, and all that shit, man, they they mourn and they crying out for help and they don't know which way to go. Well, with Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2 says, it says, Judah the more, more than against their language. Right. So right. our people, we going through, we struggling. We out here sitting fucked up. We really? Crying for all the bullshit that's out here. Really? Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Isaiah 1 and, I'm sorry, 21. How has the faithful city become harlot? Right. It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murders. Thy silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with water. You know, so that's basically the most high asking, you know, like, well, you know, having Isaiah, right? Like, what happened? What the hell happened to my people, man? Right. You know, we was once kings and priests, you know what I'm saying? We, we the princes of the most high, but now you. I mean, look at a That's nigga. Like, shit. Right. Said, well, man, Rob died. Shit. <laughs> It's kind of coincidental. You know, that's why, that's, that's, that's why when people like you would see an Edomite come by here and we would be like, you know, we the children of Israel, we the people of God. That's why, yeah, that's why they look at you like that. Like, these, these niggas, you know, that's what Isaiah talking about, you know? How, how, how is the silver become dross, man? You know, you know when silver is dross, you know, you burn that shit with fire. And that's what the most I gonna do two thirds of y'all, man. This coincides right with what the brother was just saying. This is Lamentation of the Well, 1 and 17. It says, as a matter of fact, I started 16. For these things I weep, my eye, my eye runneth down with water because the comforter that should relieve my soul is far from me. My children are desolate because the enemy prevailed. Zion spreadeth forth her hands and there is none to comfort her. The Lord hath commanded concerning Jacob that his adversary should be round about him. Jerusalem is as a menstruous woman among them. Basically, it's going into her time of the month, and it's just, it's just all here because, you know, they, they, not only is they unclean, they, they, they travailing as a woman because they got them pains and sorrows in their stomach, too. Um, verse 18, the Lord is righteous, and I have failed to get his commandment. Here I pray you all people, and behold my sorrow. My virgins and my young men are going into captivity. And that's basically, once again, speaking on that state that we're in, this is what you would call physical hell. This is the actual, like, physical place we would call hell, but this would be hell, which is the state that we're living in. Back to you, brother. This is, this is Latin Examinations, uh, chapter 4, verse 1. How is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the centuries are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed to earth pictures? The work of the hands of the potter. Yeah, man. You know, how, how is the fine gold? Just we all have been expounding on how the fine gold became, became dim. How we lost our flavor. But, you know, we're slowly, we're slowly, uh, 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 branching up and getting our uh, flavor back started with, you know, the apostles and their apostles, you know, and, and, and you know, we slowly get, get, get our shine back, you know? Yeah, right quick, if you don't mind, it's real short. Jeremiah 6 and 30, it goes aside, right? Exactly what y'all was just saying. Um, Jeremiah chapter. Oh, shit, that's what I had. That's a spirit. Six and thirty? Yeah, God. Oh, go ahead, get it then. My fault. My fault. I, I thought you were going to switch the topic. I didn't want you to switch no. the topic because it was right there. Go ahead, my Jeremiah fault. Jeremiah 6 and 30. Yeah. A reprobate silver shall so uh, men call them. Yeah. Because Yahweh have rejected them. God. Yes, yeah, so that's speaking on, uh, you know, again, you know, you know, silver and gold are, are precious, you know. And, you know, that's what we used to be to the most high. But, you know, reprobate silver is what, you know, men shall call them. Men representing the other nations. 
And, you know, of course, the hope and the leg looking at the two thirds. You know, they, re they reprobate self. You know, you still, you still an uh, Israelite. Yeah. You know, you still a daughter of Zion. Yeah. You know, as much as shit as we come out here and talk about, you know, niggas in here. But, you still gonna say that, nigga. Hey, I mean, you still gonna come back. Ain't no, on this side, you know? You just gotta go, you gotta get that shine back. That, that, what that fire is gonna do is gonna purify. Uh, two thirds, you know, whatever that may be. 